So in this podcast, I just want to explain experiment six and its pre-lab. Um, not too much to do here in the pre-lab, uh, just a few questions. And so what I thought I'd do is go through it real quick. The experiment essentially works like this. You've got a light source, which I'm showing as a, as a, a light bulb here. But what it's going to be is it's going to be one of those discharge tubes that we had in class. So it's going to be a, an, an atom, some sort of atomic composition inside of that discharge tube. You zap it with a lot of electricity, and that's going to give off light. And the reason it gives off light is because electrons are being excited to some high energy level, and then they fall back down again. And as they fall back down, they give off photons of light that have exactly the energy difference between those two energy levels of where the electrons were. So the light coming out of the, of the lamp is going to be of a very specific wavelength, and we're going to pass it through something known as a diffraction grating. What a diffraction grating is, you can kind of think of it as a filter where the light comes through the filter, and what that causes it to do is diffract, so its angle changes, and its angle is going to change by some amount that we call theta. And we can measure that amount by changing where our detector is, and in this case our detector is quite literally our eyes. And so we look at where the light is, and then we change where our eyes go, and we measure that amount, that change in, in angle. And that's what's called the diffraction angle. Um, and so the diffraction angle is known as theta, and we can relate that to the difference, uh, or the spacing, the despacing of the diffraction grating. So the diffraction grating can be very thin, or it can be very thick. Um, and so D is the distance between all of those little openings in the diffraction grating. Lambda which is right here, is the frequency, or rather, sorry, the wavelength of the light that's being uh, shown through the diffraction grating. So this is the wavelength of this light. This is the angle that that light will be diffracted according to the distance between all of the different uh, diffraction gratings. So that's this equation, and we need to use it for the first question in the pre-lab. The first question in the pre-lab says, uh, we're going to calibrate the instrument by using sodium. So we use sodium in the lamp, and we know for a fact that the sodium wavelength is 554.9 nanometers. We just know that, so we're going to use it to calibrate it. So this light coming through has a wavelength, lambda, of 554 nanometers. So all we have to do then is use our eyes, measure where we see it coming out at. We, come, we see it coming out at 16.94 degrees. Uh, your numbers might not be exactly the same as this, but nonetheless it's given, so we know exactly what that uh, angle is, and if we know what the, the wavelength of light is and we know what the angle is, we can calculate D by using this expression, this equation which was given in your lab manual. So you just plug in lambda, you plug in your theta, and you can calculate D and you can actually find that. And that's the first part of question one. The second part asks for the lambda of some unknown metal. So you're going to pull out sodium from this lamp, you're going to put something else in there, and then what you're going to do is you're going to measure, again, the angle. The angle is always the thing that we can measure. And what we want to know is, what was the wavelength of light being given off? We can't calculate the wavelength of light being given off unless we know D. We know that spacing, because we need to use this equation. So that's why we did the experiment with sodium first, because we can calibrate it, we can calculate D. So we find D in that equation, and then we fill it in, down here and use it to calculate lambda, use it to calculate the new wavelength. Now all of these are in units of nanometers, so don't forget to include that when you're doing this question. And the second part is a little bit different. The second part asks you to use this equation, known as the Rydberg equation, to calculate the wavelength of light that would be emitted for a transition in the hydrogen atom. A transition from a certain energy level to a certain other one. So you'll be given those two values, and that's and final and n initial. So whatever ones you're given is you simply plug it in. The Rydberg constant you'll need, that's given, so you plug that in, and the lambda you can calculate. The Rydberg constant you've been given is in units of meters. You want to make sure you give your answer though in units of nanometers. That's been that's been asked for. So you're gonna to have to convert whatever answer you get that's in meters to units of nanometers. And that conversion is given right here. For every one nanometer you have, you have 10 to the minus 9 nanometers. So that should be all the information you need to answer those three questions. Uh, you want to keep your units consistent. And in this case, we're dealing with nanometers. Um, and if you have any questions, you can direct those to your lab instructor.